Only thing useful she got for sale is this eyeball. Yes. Woohoo, crack, crack, don't ooh, never mind. We got some more stuff. Double crack. Dole. Discolored. And a weird arrival. Bye bye. Only six mana stole overhead? Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I know he's got quests, but I'm not planning on doing them. They're just like phase B stuff. <clears throat> oh, this is the dragon lair. One of my favorite levels. Yeah, let's go. I have basked in your presence. The voice in the ember is only a shadow of Ordrock's true glory. But I find now that I have no desire other than to serve him and to show his glory to the world. My years of study are nothing to Ordrock's vast centuries of dwelling in the ember, but still... My knowledge sometimes surpasses his. His spirit infuses the ember. It could be concentrated further, bringing his voice to the world. Still, we will see the potential. Together, we will free Ordrock from this mountain. Kingdoms will kneel before us, blinded by the radiance of our ascendancy. None will dare question the virtue of our art or the power of all right so that was the uh the cutscene telling us that we're getting closer so i'm sorry for the delay on videos like that torchlight video that i released today or well probably when i release this tomorrow was actually made Two, three months ago. As I'm not dying this early. As before. Meh. I got knows I got myself a good computer now. Can run almost all the games that I want it to run. Got a good monitor. And I got a new microphone, as you can tell. This is the HyperX Quadcast. The tap to mute button is pretty handy when the cutscenes like that happen. So I don't know why I'm taking my hands off the keyboard, because I am really going to need to pop those health pots. Because, like I said before, I'm not dying till I get to a get to Ordrak. I almost said Aatrox. That's the first time it has worked. Oh. I don't know if what's different. <laughs> it's probably the 108 to health. But I really can't tell, so. I didn't look at it before. I should have. I know. It was pretty dumb of me. I forgot how the map works. There we go. I never already found out. <laughs> Now, any more gear that drops off here, it's gonna go real handy when I'm fighting the big old red dragon thing. How? This thing hurts. <gasps> Just as I said that, I got some unidentified shoulders. Alright. Ooh, hold up. The resistances is nice. I'm gonna lose 75 health and six mana, and 50% chance to reduce to reflect missiles. That's not exactly a bad trait. And all I gotta do is put some points in the magic. Sign me up. Boom. I. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I was the only one even looking at that one because I know I'm the only one looking at that one until I post this uh, my feet weren't moving it was like I was sliding across the floor
I don't really think I'll be losing a lot of mana. I just had to look out for the uh, the elite versions of those dragons. Uh, their fire breath is nasty. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is a major step up. I was there over there almost getting hit by the uh, the buffers or killed by the buff guys in the uh, the dwarf dungeon. Now I'm over here taking so much damage. I have to pop pots. I am literally going to have to go back and buy like a crap ton of them. Oh, look at that. A one bleed. Mm, that's that's pretty shocking. And the perfect time to go back is now. And now I'm looking at it. Uh, drain life is pretty much useless. Because I will not be able to do that much damage in the time it takes for them to kill me. Any good weapons? No. Nope. Uh, 20 poison. Oh, look. It's exactly the one I just sold. Four magic fight increase. You know what? Hold up. Goodbye. I'm gonna give that a shot, actually. I'll do, like, another character, like, later on, but I won't be recording it. And I'll try it there. The cool. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Yeah, so I would rather summon skeletons than I would prefer dying. So I'm not gonna worry about that skull just yet. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna again. I'm actually gonna tell you a story. So I had a um, a summoner ember mage on this. And this was like uh, five months ago. Oh my god. I did all that and I forgot to buy potions, so it's the only reason why I went back. I am dumb. But I had a summon Ember Mage. I died like 30 times to Ordrak. Because I was like, I was on very hard. Then, as soon as I killed him, still walks out. She's like, oh good, you killed Ordrak. And it was like, now the world can be free again. What happens? My game freezes. I'm like, oh, that that's no big of a deal. It was a really big... I oh, can't remember things. It was a really big deal. As... Freezes, crashes, and then Steam Cloud has an error. And... It puts me back. Like, it puts me all the way back. Because I was on a roll, like. I went through, like, 20, 20 levels without exiting and saving. Ah! <laughs> no! Oh, shit. Ah, that's alright. Eh. That's normal. Well. I died. So I guess I am not going to be having my first death on Ordrek. They're just too powerful, these poison launchers. Dang it. I'll try it again another time. But yeah, so puts me back all the way. Went down like 20 levels. Had to restart back before I even got into the Dorvin Mines. I got so mad, I took a random piece of unique, like unique necklace. And I blew probably around 2 million gold enchanting this thing. Did I only got a couple fails, but no catastrophic ones, so I was able to keep all the enchants on it. I nicknamed it the God Necklace because it had like 10, 10 or 12 enchants on it. So yeah. That sucked. Still got the achievement for killing Ordrak. Didn't have a character to prove it, though. I 
I'm pretty sure I died because I'm so used to playing League again. So I was just, like trying to weave in like basic attacks while cast like using the cast abilities. So dang. That sucks. Know what the title is gonna be. I died for the first time. Oh, I stepped on teleport. I died for the first time and it wasn't on order. <laughs> That's what I get for making fun of the level. Because I don't have high poison resist, so I just took the frontal of it, and that was probably around like 2,000 damage. I don't really care if I left items there. Not really worth much right now. I lost like 4,000 gold. So, yeah. Oh, and also, in my last video, I was talking about Diablo Immortal. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna play it because it's on phone. My friend tells me, oh, by the way, do you know that uh, Diablo Immortal's coming to PC? I'm like, it's what? And he's like, yeah, it's coming to PC. And it's like, show me the proof. Gives me the proof. What? So now I'm going to be playing Diablo Immortal. Who imagined that? <laughs> Pre-registers are up, though. So I had to pre-register for it. This is going to take longer than I expected. There's going to be, like, a cut probably around, like, this time. Because right now it's, like, 11 minutes in. Like, I like I literally might even skip to the boss. Because that's probably what I'm going to do. So, yeah. I'm going to fish for some random luck. Goldfish, give me a goldfish. Goldfish. Come on. Are you can't. No. Go in. Let me catch this fish. Truffles now. Alright, well, I get to have a, um. I'm not going to have a fish or a transmuted pet because <laughs> that's actually pretty good. That's the highest magic find and gold find I've ever seen in this game. Like I'm, I, I'm literally getting back into the groove. Like now, magic find and gold find mean stuff to me than when I first started this series because I've been playing like a lot of Diablo 2 Resurrected at the moment. Like. I now have a level 52 uh, Barbarian. Or, not 52. Actually, yeah. I do have a 52. Uh, 52, and I also have an 82 Barbarian. Like, 83 Lizard Sorceress for the Ancient Tunnels. Um, my old 2000 and... Uh, 2012 Paladin. That's, uh, that's fun. And whenever I get tired of looking at the 3D graphics, I press the G button and it turns right back to classic. It's pretty fun. Oh, these things only last for 50, like, 50 seconds. They're gonna be pretty handy, even though. Even though they're gonna start despawning. Stop that. Oh, okay, I see why I don't ever use summon skeletons, because I am so confused when they're out. Only hit me with one, and you'll pay for that. Alright, so now my goal is I'm not gonna die, or I hope I don't die like five times until I get to Ordrek, because I see one was too big of a hit, too big of a challenge. <laughs> Alright. Level up! 
Where's my pet? Oh, okay, I, I, yeah, there, there he is. He's all the way up there. He's stuck on a wall. He's not anymore. God dang it. Pet, you had one job, and the game also has one job, is to put up, give me an extra point so I can put it into here. One level away, so yeah, that's fun. I'm definitely going to be need to do that. I'm going to make another summon, summoner. And I'm going to max out treasure hunt and uh, pet mastery and charms. So yeah, I'm going to have a magic finder. Imagine that. Oh, yes, that's so fun. I'm just going to put a point into this one for now. And I deal ice damage and I get a little projectile. That's going to be pretty handy. Considering it pierces. It does 100% of your weapon DPS. Definitely nerf, though. Alright, so stairs down is right over there. I was insulting your bleeding before, but man, they really hurt when they get stacked up. Or is that just you shooting me from behind? Oh my god. I love doing that, stopping their charge with my slash. I will go ahead and identify this, identify that, and cast down portal on accident, but I'll actually use that, so. This is perfect for the wave clear. Stop it! My pet was fleeing, and so was I. Into the blue magical portal I go. I got things to do. Eh, you got things to do. You know what I got things to do? I got things to put so many prices on potions. I don't even care. Give me 100. Actually, I'll take 120. 140. Never mind. I don't have enough gold. <laughs> so that means I won't be able to buy any of these gems until I start killing more things. So. Woohoo! Here you are. Got all of that extra 1,000 damage on my swing. Let's see what this rifle is. Decreases missile range by two meters. I've never seen a red enchantment on a. Uh, just gonna put it there. On a freaking rifle. Or in this game at all at that point. I've never seen a red disenchantment. The best AoE is one that stuns and does damage. Holy cow, I walked right into a massacre. 
Oh my god! They're all falling! I'm popping pots! No! <laughs> you know what's great? I'm here! So to this, two. How are you still alive? There. How am I already overburdened? I literally just went back. And yet again, I did just buy over a hundred health pots. Oh no, the boss time. Come on, boss. Show me what you got. Oh wow, that did like nothing. Resistant against range attacks. I am melee. No! No, not the scale harbor. Is that harbor or harbor? I'm just gonna call it armor. Where's the stairs down? Oi, you have not you have a chat mark on you. Come back. Come back. Get over here. Get. She has a chat thing and she's not even gonna talk to me, dude. Seriously? There. Master Ulrich taught me to serve others, to protect the weak, to strike evil down. But now my will of Ordbrook has overwhelmed him. It has altered him completely. He put me to rest. I got the finest cut gems in Amber. She wants me to kill her master. The man became too corrupt with power. Or Drake has too much control. Dude, how did you let yourself get controlled by a big old lizard thing? Big old ore lizard. Corrupt chaos lizard dragon. Gollum Hulk Wait, seriously? Actually, hold up. This might actually be the final. This might be the final episode. Because I, I remember after you kill Ulrich, doesn't he just run right to Ordrak and then you fight him there? That's literally the end, end of Torchlight. And then you do an infinite dungeon that always resets. You die more than you need to. You level up for a no, for not really a point, except to hit level 100 on every single class, because there's an achievement for that, I believe. Literally, anyone who want who just wants to do that is just going to want to be a completionist. Like I'm going to be probably completionist too. And I'm probably going to download mods just to get the uh, the mod achievements. I'm probably going to do the same thing for Torchlight. Maybe. I'm not sure. Probably like hardcore multiplayer or something like that. If multiplayer still exists for Torchlight 2. Because I'm, like, I might even consider those out. Like I might not be that completionist guy. Because I don't know friends who play Torchlight. Who knows? I might literally even... Beat the game. Like, literally. I've already done it on, like, all four. I spent 24 hours on the Nintendo Switch, and I was able to get my freaking Ember Mage to beat the game three or five times because I'm in new game plus 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 or plus I don't know 24 hours I beat beat that 24 <clears throat> I know bro like a lot of people can probably do better than me but that was also on console so 
I have to choose the champ or the character that has freaking auto lock abilities because I can't control the joysticks on. <laughs> I can't control the characters with the joysticks. So that kind of that's kind of sad, but at the same time, not really. And judging by the outcome, when I retire good old Red Fade right here, what I'm going to be leaving behind for the other character, because I'm going to be doing that summon here, I'm going to be leaving behind the, uh, the damage ring. It's going to be called Red Fade's Lovecraft. Holy crap! Oh my god! I was too busy talking, and you did rude. <laughs> you were rude. I was trying to say things, and now there's like three of them. There's two of them. No, go away. Be gone. To be honest, I'm that blind. I did not see the boss, like the mini boss guys there, because I was too busy trying to kill dragons. How to train your dragon? You don't. Now, pet, pull one, please. One, please. Just one. Just one. All right, good. No, I knocked her back too much. I knocked, I knocked her away. How are you not triggering the other one? Take them big, big crits. Big crits. And second thought, if this is really the final, I'm not cutting. It's time. The final point into slash. Yeah! I can do max damage! Well, with my weapons, of course. I'm literally gonna have to transfer over the gems in my chest, too. Love how I got these pistols, and it's just like, what pistols? Oh, yeah, you mean the things that don't do damage? And then I get the big crits. Come on. Oh, that's the that's the T star. Hmm. Obviously, it's the T star. It really has its name right on it. No, it's the quad barrel rifle. That's what it, that's what they were going for with that one. God, my finger keeps hitting the space bar. Take this ghost, and I'll tape your van brace. Now that I have taken. Vambrace. I'm going to sell it for gold. Boom. Unidentified belt, epics, ember staff. Or is that just an ember staff? I just put the epic in front of it. Just, just make up for what I didn't see. Holy crap, that lightning. This is where people would say, the lightning needs a nerf. But I mean, this game has been the same for around like eight years. There ain't no nerf in this, unless they bring it to console. I mean, that's just me hoping. And that's literally just me hoping that they'll bring Diablo 1 into the Blizzard shop. Not exactly Blizzard shop, just the Battle.net shop. I want to go back to nostalgia. I want to play my play my old game. I want to die to the butcher like 50 times. Come on. Oh no, I actually found a secret room and I'm pretty sure this right here was the key. And clearly they didn't have a texture for that. It's just a void. Core ember. Dull fire ember. Cracked eyeball, I think. And more money that I can spend on health pots. <gasps> Ooh, that's the good one. <clears throat> that's the one that you put in your berserk, your berserk spike, so you gain like regeneration over time while you're dying. Um, just because that has uh, resistances, I'll go ahead and put that on. Cause that's just an increased poison damage. I don't do poison damage. 
All right, pet, I'll give you two gems and send you off to town. If I die, don't come and try and find me because I just know you're going to respawn with me. Actually, if I do die, town portal. Put in a town portal there and I'm going to be killing everything that comes in my way. I'm going to be running away from everything that comes at me. Because literally, the, the summon with uh, dragons and more summoners is a pain. And without my pet to be my human shield, I'm going to suffer more. Oh, cool. My fame has increased. No one really cares about fame in this game. I will use this, though. This is a potion effectiveness. Like, I didn't know, like I said, I was going to go, like, an armor route, but who needs an armor route? Uh, time to ditch these. Oh, God, that was my third one. Now you get to resurrect the town. Jeez, this is getting harder. I know it just could also be me being bad at the game, but I'm always bad at the game, so. Like, no pain in saying that. <clears throat> Look at those little hawk armor. Yeah, see, minion speed and damage, and then this one. Yeah, I literally had it for there and everything. And the game just wiped. Alright, what you got for me? Let's go ahead and uh, buy more potions, by the way. Whoa, 140. Let's go. I'm just going to spam uh, the 8 key to summon the skeletons because this is going to be a major part of the absorbing damage because they're just, they're dead. Go, my shields. Lead the way so I can end, end this video and also end this game. I feel like if you kill the kill the main summons, the summoner summons just, just disappear. Like, be way better. Like yeah, fun fact, even if you didn't make this way all the way into this video, I played some Torchlight 3 and gave it more of a chance than me just looking at it like a Skylander mix of Torchlight. Which it is. Thought I killed this one already. Could I not? Alright, popping a health pot. I'm gonna be rushing in. You know what? That's a, it's a summoner. I'm not afraid. Let's go. You ain't nothing if you can't hit me. Because you just hit the wall. Yep. Yeah, crit's not going to matter much at all now. I put five points in the critical strike and I'm not even gonna be using basic attacks because that is infinite slow I'm stuck in the crossfire to kill the damn summoners or I will die Don't matter how much gold you've got if you can't spend it. Mm -hmm. 
This is literally just gonna be a whole thing. Welcome to Torchlight. You plan on playing a destroyer? Well, your best spell is your starting spell. Let's go. I mean, a lot of people can argue the fact that The fact that ex excavation, I think that's what it is, or devastate, is also a really good one. You just have to combine this with um, with haste. You'll make up for the movement speed that you lose from the spell. And also, it's hilarious to see yourself bouncing around in infinite frames. Oh yeah, I can't cast anything because I died again. Let's go. That was four. To be honest, don't really care about the death counter at this point. At this point, I literally got kind of got my goal. I didn't want to die early on in the game. This is basically end game that you're seeing here because there ain't no end to this game. There will forever be end to storylines, but this is it, so. Oh yeah, Barter's gonna be a nice one. Um. For the sake of it, I'm just going to do that. He's not going to be there for a long time, but that 4% chance to lock is pretty nice. Still don't think that this is the end yet. Nope, it's not the end yet. just using this as a little way to survive a little bit longer and though everything here is going to hit through my defense and also because I haven't put any points into defense so yeah right as soon as I know that we're at the end I'm dumping all my points into defense because strength isn't gonna matter a lot Jeez, that lightning damage hurts. Lightning is even my second highest resist. The only reason why I'm happy that I got those belts in that shoulder plate. Just in time to negate some damage. Stomp is one of the most iconic stuns in Torchlight franchise. That's why they tried to make up for Torchlight 2 with Seismic Slam. But in reality, uh, Overdrive did better. Okay, we'll drop some grays. And go to town. I'll just go ahead and use the... Uh, Skeleton is my defense. A 
that's not going to be a bad one. And here it is. The best chest available. But this one's in my opinion. This is like the best one that you can possibly get. Oh god, I clicked off. I clicked off. Alright, there we go. If I want, I won't ever be able to use this because I haven't put anything in the magic. But yeah, that like this this is literally technically what you would consider a god item in this game when stats really didn't do much. So yeah, that's godly right there. Defense will always be low because this ain't D2. Dude, I forgot how high defenses were until I made a Sacred Armor Fortitude. Non-Ethereal because I was using it. And dang. That was like 1,600 defense or something. You combine that with a Wolf Howl, whoever it is, and you get some insane defense while doing some really nice damage. Goodbye. Since I'm here, I might as well do it too. Start transferring over gems. Sounds like a musical. Dun 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 dun. And these are all just uh, mysterious map scrolls that I've been getting from that one guy over in the corner. So. Those are all going to be dropped on the ground before I retire. I want to drop around that one person that actually does the retirement system. Uh, so slash has a delay so you can land that you can get these guys before they dash to you because of that delay you just have to be precise on it oh never mind it didn't have a delay not there of all times the mysterious boots just playing a game of chance at this point Yep, like that's literally what we're looking for right there. That's another good. That's another good item. But once again, we ain't using it because we don't have the stats. Ah, <sighs> so many good items. <clears throat> My pet has fled, nothing new. The game's not bad. Especially since it's running really It has a little bit of like a like a low drop, that's just because of the game's natural low frame rate. But it's running pretty well on a 37 DTA. If you guys ever start playing Torchlight, or you're like new to it and you're watching this video, uh, if it says rank, like the little rank on top, like 1 out of 11, it's because the highest you can get to is rank 6 on spells. But you're able to put stat points into ones that increase charms, like, or defensive spells. And you're able to do it like up to five times and it increases like the effects and the time 
but it, once and every now and then it will put a level into it. So you can have your, like, insane summon skeletons running around with your summoner. So, yeah. That's gonna be really cool. I'll do that, and once I get, like, my perfect summoner and hit max level with it, I might even make a video on it and, like, show through the best amount. Yeah, this is why you want elemental protection. Insane defense boosts as destroyer, because heal, if you're not putting any points into the charm thing, won't really go great. It's small heal. Health pots are just way better at this point. I'm, I'm gonna stop sending out my pet until I actually need to go in because I really do need him he's a not exactly a tank shield but he does decent amount of damage like 441 is not that bad considering 500 for two hits kill the skeletons It's also going into this one. I need as much potion effectiveness as possible to kill or drag. Well, this is 40, 47 minutes in. Uh, no, I'm not going to go that way. Rather hit the sun. The sun. I would rather punch the sun with my bare hands. Can't land a stun because I'm just getting knocked around. All right, this one might be it. On the other side of this wall, I have to fight Aldrich. I hope so, or else it's gonna make me go one more level. There we go. Finally got another one with a delay. Like that. There there you go. That's the delay. Because these guys, uh, their hitboxes are longer than what their bodies are. Nope, never mind. One more level. I can't really see my health. My microphone's like in the way. Let me move it a little bit. Gotta clear out this summons or else I'm gonna die really really fast
pop an elemental protection. I need to actually be able to get in there. You can tell the difference between not having resistances and having some. Hit them both. This is when we're getting into the big health pots, like the giant grand potions. Like, I'm pretty sure even this would be better, but I'm not using that, so. This one might be a weird one, but... said you're gonna be the one responsible for healing so your pet doesn't need it This is normal difficulty. When you do this on very hard, it's as the name very hard implies. Like, I don't know how long I've been playing this character for. I'll check the stats right as soon as I clear it out, and I'm not gonna die if I do. And there's too many of them, I'm just gonna have to spam stomp. Oh, there's a little, like, lag there, so I guess I'm running into, like, a boss... A boss so big that it triggered a little lag or frame drop in the code. Oh my gosh, how are you still alive? Yep, there it is. gonna take that because you're the one that going to perish even though I'm probably gonna be the one that perishes a couple times during this fight oh god that was all glancing blows <laughs> oh god that's not good <laughs> oh no is this reflect no it ain't oh no he broke the I love the fact that he's taking 20 damage for around 2 seconds, and then 10, and he's like, no, I will not be defeated here. That should've got ya. <laughs> Sorry about that. Dude, the skeletons were shooting you. You should've just not ran. And the dude didn't even drop any loot, dude. Seriously. It's kinda rude. Kinda rude, I wasted so much time on, like, shooting ya. Or slashing at you you sleep me with that oh, that's kind of rude bro 
Yep, going right back, casting that town portal closer. Actually, no, that's a waypoint. Oh my god, was I- did I never get this? I remember casting town portals outside because I didn't- because I didn't think there was a waypoint. And there's just a waypoint right there. What can I do? The pain. What's that? Archers? Three non-moving archers? What's this one? Seven non-moving archers. This is rank five. All right, I'm car carrying a uh, lucky skull or a chip skull into the fight. Hey, how are all you doing? Good, that's good. All right, this is the finale. This is literally the finale. This is the final boss and the game is done. No, don't sacrifice yourself to a salamander that's made of crystals. Oh, he made more than just a sacrifice. He sacrificed all the crystals around him. He's more of a manticore than a salamander. I've been calling him a lizard and a salamander for some reason. You can't really kill these things, can you? Oh, I can. I was over here playing as a summoner. I couldn't kill these things. The incarnation of corruption will not best me and my 135 health bots. The Dark Ember. Oh my god, the min the mobs are doing more damage than him. Dude, how do you get out damaged by your own summons? The whole point of being a summoner, literally. Oh, would you look at that? He actually did an attack worth talking about. Three fireballs. Wow. Well, hey, at least the, the summon archers are good for something, and that's tanking all the, the turret aggro. I'm over here talking like I'm playing Malzahar, for crying out loud. <laughs> We're about to reach the one hour mark of the video. Oh no, not green skeletons. My biggest weakness, they get hit once and they just fall. As long as the attack does over a thousand damage. Oh no, that's more dragons than I want to that I want to deal with. And green skeletons, man, he's just throwing out the whole shebang, ain't he? Did 
These guys also won't get stunned, so I don't believe they'll get stunned. We have passed one hour by like 23 seconds. And he's dead! The final boss of Torchlight. Dead. And with that, the series ends. Okay, mysterious hel helmet. Ooh, that's not a bad helmet. I at least said it before I looked at that. The 6% chance to to make targets flee will definitely sh uh, want me to use this on a... Like a, like a caster or a gun wielder. But other than that, that's a pretty, that's pretty nice. And now any of these dragons that are alive are going to blow up right in front of me. Alright, right here. I'm not going this way because this is where my game crashed. I swear, do not get stuck or don't... Don't let the game get frozen. You're welcome. Yes. I have defeated Ordrock, but his darkness still infests the Ember here. Can he truly be dead while his spirit runs through the veins? This is not the end of the evils below Torchlight. I have grown stronger here, but the corruption of our age boils. I must continue to hone my skills. I will remain a while in Torchlight and await the conflict yet to come. There we have it. That's it. That that's it's literally it. That's that's the end of Torchlight. Final boss has been defeated, and this area. This area right here where you can accept these quests and get better versions of bad items sometimes and an infinite dungeon that's what you get for killing Ordrak. and not only that you get some you get a pretty nice i think it's guaranteed unique yeah i think it's guaranteed but yeah this is the retirement retirement girl so this is what i'm gonna retire I'm just going to put that there. And I'm going to sell all that. Everything. I'm selling it. I'm binding everything. It's all going to go. Actually, hold up. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell, sell, sell. Because the health potions, for some reason, are a lot. I'm going to buy a random weapon. Here. Uh... I take that back. That's not exactly one of the best boots. So that boot is going to go there. Because it's faster cast. Great. I can give it faster cast rate. I don't want my character just to pass on with nothing. Oh, well, uh, besides nothing, I mean like the amulets. Not worth it. Then just uh There we go. All stat points into defense. I'm gonna give up armor degrade and cap faster attack. That's time to I think this is how you unbind everything. Nope. Alright, I don't know. Right here, you'll be accepting. And then you take off the ring. Hiya. Here it is, the heirloom. Goodbye, Red Fade. You will be missed. Bye bye. Passing the torch. Alright, and just for the sake of it, I'm gonna select an alchemist. I'm gonna name him. Uh what am I gonna name him? 
What will I name this boy? Hmm. What name? What name? What name? Uh, for the sake of me rebranding as Darius Delirium, I am just gonna go ahead and call myself. Delirium. There it is, you're right. Passing on. Going on normal again because hard. I've already done hard and very hard. Here it is. Red Fades Love Lovecraft Craftation for bonding or band. So there. And one skill point at the base level. Going right into Nether Imp. This marks the journey of my summoner that is going to possibly die faster than any other one that I've done. So I'm going to be moving this over. And, uh... Yeah, just that. I forgot to throw the maps down on the ground, but... I don't really care. Alright. So, that that's fully it. That's, that's the end of Torchlight. Once you retire a character, heirloom gets passed down. You get one, one extra skill point. This is done. The Torchlight 1 series is finally over. Now I can get started on Torchlight 2 when I'm ready to do it. Which is probably going to be in like a couple days or so. So until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Darius Delirium out.